2,200 pounds of pot, and it is all legal. As a bill to allow medical marijuana in Tennessee is being debated by lawmakers, we went inside the only legal pot farm in the United States. It's right here in the Mid-South. Eyewitness News reporter Allison Sossman takes you inside the government stash. Clinical trials are being conducted to determine the medical benefits of marijuana. Any marijuana used in those studies started here in this room. No seeds at all, no seeds, no stems. Dr. Mahmoud El Soli is sitting on about 2,000 pounds of cannabis. We are charged with uh, growing, harvesting, processing, manipulating of cannabis for research purposes and also manufacturing of cigarettes for the same purpose. From seedlings and petri dishes to fully grown plants, for 30 years El Soli's overseen the facility that sees the production of pot from start to finish. Cans like that, each one will have 300. This marijuana is shipped off to be used for a number of medical purposes. Everything from cancer patients to people with glaucoma. But El Soli says these cigarettes aren't the solution. It's a good plant, it's a good, uh, you know, a good you know, drug in itself, but it just needs to be used in the right way of using a drug, which is some other way besides smoking it. El Soli says most benefits from marijuana come from THC. When you smoke it, you inhale thousands of other chemicals along with the THC. His lab is working on other ways to ingest it. And we have developed a process that takes the plant material, make an extract out of the plant material. Until there's a more controlled way to prescribe the drug, he doesn't think it should be legal. I would venture to say that uh, more than 90% of the material produced and used in California would be by people that are not sick, but, but by people that are using it for recreational purposes. While politicians continue to debate whether or not to legalize marijuana, scientists here say they'll continue to grow it and study it. At the University of Mississippi, Allison Sossaman, CW30 Eyewitness News. The National Institute on Drug Abuse actually funds the pot production and research at the Ole Miss facility.